Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to make this 3D hologram using the free Cinema 4D light that comes with After Effects. Okay, so starting here in After Effects, I'm going to come up to File, go New, Max on Cinema 4D file. That will ask you to save that. So next we want to bring in our 3D asset. Now I found that Bitcoin on this site called TurboSquid. You can search for free models and I found it here. And all you need to make sure is that it's um, either an OBJ or a Cinema 4D file. That means it'll be compatible. Find that file and just drop it in. Um, don't worry about all these. And as you can see, that's brought it in. Now this is using a different render engine so we won't have any of these materials. So we can just go ahead and delete those. And to navigate around our scene, we can come up to these icons on the right here, which is pan, zoom, and orbit. Or we can use the one, two, and three keys. So one click and drag is pan, two click and drag is zoom, three click and drag is orbit. So when we drop this file in, it actually opened a new um, project. So all we need to do is copy this, uh, clicking on our coin and doing Control or Apple C, then pressing V, which will bring up our kind of shortcut commands, and we can go to our After Effects project that's linked and just paste that in there. Um, this is quite small, so let's bring the scale of this up. Um, we can do that just by holding T on our keyboard and clicking and dragging, and that will scale up. And then using our one, two, and three keys just to kind of position this how we want, something like that. So let's add our own material to this, coming down to the material editor at the bottom here, double clicking to make a material, and double clicking that again to go into the editor. And just like Photoshop or After Effects or whatever app you use, you can just choose colors from here. I'm going to go for some sort of blue like that. And then all we need to do is just drop this onto our coin. Then let's give this some rotation. So going back on our timeline to zero, making sure our coin is selected, going to coordinates and adding some rotation in the heading, going forward to the end, put 360 in there, adding another keyframe for the end and we can watch that play back. If you're just getting started with 3D and want to start learning the basics, I've got a free course over on my website. It's all about learning the fundamentals utilizing the free Cinema 4D light that comes with After Effects. There's a link in the description below. So let's make sure we save this, Apple, Apple or Control S, or go up to File, Save Project. Um, we need that to see it back in After Effects. If we jump back to After Effects, we can see we've got a file here that's been created. If we just throw that into a composition, then we can see our coin there. Now we're looking at this through a kind of draft render at the moment. So if we turn this to current, we can see our final result. And if we turn it to current draft, it's kind of a draft version that's a bit quicker to play back. So let's quickly add that glitch effect. I'm going to go new, solid, okay. And I'm gonna add a fractal noise here. And I'm gonna turn the noise type to block. And I'm going to turn the contrast up. And then just under the transform options, I'm going to take scale, undo uniform scale, and just stretch this out um, something like this. And then in the evolution, I'm just gonna click Alt click that to add a expression and just put time times 500. So that will just give some movement to that fractal noise. And let's pre-compose this. Then we just need to add a displacement map to the Cinema 4D file and point it towards that noise. 
um, and then we can turn the noise off and as you can see if I rotate this round we've kind of got some of that glitching going on and um, we can make that more or less extreme just by changing these parameters here something like this maybe and then last thing I just want to add a bit of glow to this so if we go so stylize glow and I would actually make a duplicate of that um, and add the glow to that and then just changing the threshold down a little bit there and bringing out the radius and the glow intensity you can do like this um, and I would just go back about just stacking them up so make sure you set your Cineware back to current when you're going to do a final export and from there you can play back well I hope that was useful if it was please consider giving it a like and a subscribe really helps the channel when making new videos